Chef Betty, I know you're very familiar with Primal Cuts Meat Market, a place you come a lot, so I'm going to let you take over the hosting duties of this segment. But tell us how it fits into tomorrow's dinner. Well, uh, Butcher Brian, the owner of Primal Cuts, uh, procures all of his meat from the local farms and ranches in the area. So he not only um, purchases the animals, but he then breaks them down, and then he makes all of his sausages, his different charcuterie, and so forth. So we're going to go in, and we're going to get the charcuterie for our appetizers tomorrow. Sounds so, delicious. Yep, absolutely. I'll follow you. Let's go. Hi, Brian. How are you? I'm good. So good. I want to introduce you to John. This is Hi, my John. friend Butcher Brian, hey, also Brian. known nice as Brian you. Tremaine, the owner of Primal Cuts Meat Market. Oh, we you. are going to get yeah. some charcuterie and some of Brian's pickles and mustards and also some cheese for our dinner tomorrow night. Well, we have a few uh, things over here. Uh, our roulettes that we make that you're going to be getting and uh, pancetta, a couple things like that. So yeah. Work your magic. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, Cotadilla cheese. cheese, so that's procured, um, that's made locally in Prineville. Uh, jalapeno, um, uh, jalapeno beer mustard. Beer mustard. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go jump into the meat. What? Uh, okay. What so like? what do you, what do you have? Uh, calabrese. Okay. So, uh, it's pepperoni style. It's so, uh, gonna be a little bit of spicy, a little bit of uh, acid to it. We've got the uh, prosciutto, awesome prosciutto. We'll have some of all of that. Brian makes all of his sausages here. Um, he makes a, a great hot dog. That's my husband loves brats, so he makes all different types of brats. And then he has the beer section. It's called Growler Fills, and so he has all these different beers on taps. He has um, beer, local beer, as well as kombucha. Love the old paper too. This reminds me when I was a kid. We used to go to the meat market. My mm -hmm. grandparents would take me in. We'd get all the fresh meat. Yeah, yeah. From the beginning, this has been like I wanted it to be the old-fashioned style of meat market. That you get that service. You get like half the people. If you stay here for over an hour, you'll hear us. Like 90% of the people walking in, we know their names. It's awesome. Uh, it's, yeah, definitely. It's great. That's uh, my. Grandfather was in a grocery store. He was the meat guy. I remember going in watching him cut meat when I was a kid and different things like that. And so then it's kind of skipped generations until me. And so kind of just brought it back. Mm 